Hello everyone, I'm Tom Trin, Senior Application Engineer from Valent Corporation. Today, I will illustrate how to set up Ethernet IP communication to communicate between II, Archon, Ethernet IP gateway to an online and series DLC. Using parameter configuration tool, here's a system configuration that you can have with the II Archon controller. So what you have here is a gateway on the very left side and they have a 24 volt power supply connected to it. That's how it's powered. The gateway can be CC link, device net, or ethercat, or ethernet IP, or Profibus, or Profinet. In our demonstration today, we will use ethernet IP. Next to it, you can stack up whatever the drive that you need for the actuator that you choose. The actuators can be RCP, RCA, RCL, RCD, RCS, ISB, as well as electric cylinder, EC cylinder. For certain actuators that require three-phase and single-phase, there's an extra module here, and there's also region resistor unit if needed. For some other model that require absolute unit, we, for certain actually, then, you know, we can use these uh, Balcon ABU as well. And then uh, these are option units for running the RCS and ISB. To get this Archon up and running, you would need a couple of software. First one is the IA-OS. That allows you to do diagnostics as well as setting up positions if needed. There is another software called Parameter Configuration Tool, and that's how you would need to use to set up number of axes that connect to the gateway, and also the mapping of the Ethernet IP or any gateway, a few network if you need. There's also a teach panel that you can connect to the gateway as well. As far as the software and how you connect to the gateway, there are two ways to do that. You can either connect USB cable to a USB port or an Ethernet cable between your PC to the uh, Ethernet port. This slide shows my demo, current demo that I have that I will illustrate. So what I have is an Ethernet IP gateway, Archon-GW-EP. And I have a driver that is archon archon PC 2 It basically allows me to control two actuators. These are the two actuators that I connect to the archon PC 2 The first one is RCP6-SA4C-WA-35P-5-16-P3-R01. So this actuator has a 60 millimeter stroke, five millimeter pitch screw, and also the robotic cable. On this actuator, I have an rcp 6 ta 6 c wa 42 p 20 200 p 3 p c j t So this actuator has the pitch of 20 millimeter, with a stroke length of 200 millimeter. And both of these actuator has a batteryless absolute encoder, meaning you don't need any battery, which is a very nice feature to have. Then I have a 24 volt power supply connect and powered up the Alcon system. I also have the little switch here, Ethernet switch that allows me to connect the POC to it. This is just happened to be a Normron NX102 POC, but this POC can be any POC with the Ethernet IP scanner. It can be Mitsubishi, it can be Siemens, Ellen Bradley, they all will work. Now, what I have also here is the my computer, and I have a USB cable for my computer connecting to the Archon gateway. I also have an Ethernet cable connect from my computer to the switch. 
the software that I need, once again, is II, IA-OS, and II parameter configuration utility. And I'm using Omron System Studio just to manipulate the data and show you how it works. So first and foremost, you need to launch the II parameter configuration tool. And that is this parameter configuration tool here. Once you launch it, the window will come up. And what you want to select is the outcome. So you can select and use this arrow down and choose outcome because that's what we have. And then click OK. Then another window will come up. And this window you want to click on port config. This is where you tell the computer here is the port that you are using to communicate to the outcome system. So now you once once you click the port config, as I mentioned before, you need to know ahead of time in your device manager which port is the your USB is connected to, and that's how you would select it. Once you know that port, select it and then click OK. Then what you want to do next is click read. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll go out and uh read whatever setup in the outcome system and then come back. So these are a little more windows what it show up as soon as you click read. Okay. Same thing here. The one thing I recommend to do is you want to select settings, select specialty parameter. And this window will come up. And uh, by default, this mod signal is valid. What it means is you, it basically a bit that will tell from the POC to the uh, II outcome, all right, I'm going to communicate. And that's the bit you can turn on and out. My suggestion is you don't really need to do that. So I would highly recommend to set it up as invited. And what we'll do is as soon as the system come up, your Alan Bradley or any other POC, as it come up along with the gateway, the icon gateway, it will automatically communicate for you. So there's no extra step for you to do. So once you set this up as invalid, hit close. And then this, uh, what you want to do is to make sure you click right. So it will send down the new parameter. Anytime you change anything, make sure you, you click right. If you don't click right, it will not be updated. The next thing you want to do is to set up the number of axes, which is two in my case. Depend upon how many axes you have, this can go up to eight axes and so forth. So you make sure you select that. And you also want to select direct indication. And what it does, the way that we set up right now is that I want to set up my icon system so that when I enter, I can enter the position that I want to go, how, how long the stroke length is, the speed, the acceleration, deceleration, and some other parameters I, I can put in. Once I've done that, it's easier for me to manipulate it from my POC and then click the start to go. We'll go into that a little bit further. But I just want to explain why we are choosing direct indication. And also notice here, uh, we have 48 bytes in as 40 uh, 48 bytes in and 48 bytes out. And that because I have two axes. Eight words are used for the gateway, another eight words are used for the first axis, and another eight words are used for the second axis. So total of 24 words, which means 48 bytes. And we'll go over that in detail a little bit later, but just want to give you a quick overview of why we're choosing this. Next thing we want to do is set up the IP address for the Archon system. So what you want to do is click on setting, click on Ethernet IP setting, and then type in your IP address. In my case, it is 192.168.251.3. Subnet mass is 255.55.55.0. 
and they click OK. So now we use the II parameter configuration tool and iOS. We're done with everything set up. Now, this few slides just shows how you set up, in this case, an online VOC. We use Syslab Studio to set it up. And you want to create two global variables. One of them is I put the name icon and the score in with an array of 24 words. And you want to set up the network publish to be input. And then not a tag called icon underscore out with an array of 24 words. And the, you want to set up that as a output under network publish. Then what you want to do is to launch the Ethernet IP configuration tool. So it's in the tools and select Ethernet IP connection setting. Once you launch that, this will come up. First and foremost, if you don't have the EDS file, you need to install it. So how do you do that? You would click this display EDS library, and then this window will show up. You want to click install, and this will point to or try to ask you where the folder contain this EDS file. Um, we can get this EDS file to you. Just give us a call and we can email it to you. So you want to point it where the folder containing this EDS file and then select that and click this open. All right. Very important that once you install the EDS file, you want to close out the Sysmax Studio and relaunch it so that this time it will recognize Yep, there is a II EDA, II hardware or device that you can add. Okay. The next thing you want to do is to, uh, I'm setting up this with a second port of the uh, NX102, which is 192 and 68 to 51, not 1. So you want to highlight that and click edit. This window will come up. And since you already create those global variables, you want to click registration now. What it will do is it will take that global variable and add it into this Ethernet IP configuration tool. All right. Then you want to click on the very right hand side, select the 192 and 68 to 51.3, which is your icon. And uh, you click that and then you select that. Once you've done that, you need to go in here and change the number of bytes to be 48 bytes for input and 48 bytes for the output and click OK. This is very important because that's basically configure correct size for the icon system that you have. Then uh, this window will show up. You want to click this icon now and then click Add. Once you've done that, this will highlight it in pink. And you want to select now the your icon, which is 192 and 680 to 51.3. And another icon will come up. And you want to input exactly like this if your system has two axes. So the input with the type of variable to be 100 and the originating variable is icon and this called in. And then the output with the target variable 150. And the originating variable is icon and this call out. Once you finish, you want to go online with Sysmax Studio and we have another video of how to do that. But once you're online, you want to click transfer to control. And another window come up, click yes, and you are now transferring that into the PLC. This last slide here shows basically all the bits that we're talking about. So these are register contains all the servo on bits, the star bit, the reset bit, jog forward, jog backward, and these are for the speed, the position width and also the actual position or the 
axis number two is axis number one. So that's how you set up Ethernet IP communication to communicate between II, Archon, Ethernet IP gateway to an on run and series ELC. Using parameter configuration tool, if you have any questions, please feel free to call us at the number below. And thank you for watching.